few months ago I did a post on image transfers and I don't believe that a lot of you knew what I was talking about so with the encouragement of my friend Seth I decided to do a video on it. My friend Cindy is here today because last time I chopped off my head in the last video so hopefully she'll get me all in and uh, let me show you what we're going to do. First I'll talk about what you need. I took a old journal page and brought it to Kinko's and uh, photocopied it. I like the laser copies a little better than the inkjet. Even though the inkjet do work, I find that I get a much better transfer with laser. So uh, you can do that. If you don't have a laser copy, go to a Kinko's or something like that. Next you need a medium, a gel medium. I use the golden soft gel. This one's a gloss, but I really prefer matte. You can use the regular medium. It's a little thicker. This is um, really like a butter consistency and it just spreads really well and usually you get a really terrific transfer with it. Oh, I have a trick. A lot of times with the glues and the gesso, the top will be really hard to remove. And some people put Vaseline on the interior, but I have a better trick. And it actually works with jars at home if you use it on your chopping block. Just turn it over, hit it hard, and voila, there it is. Alrighty, the next thing you need is a palette knife and or brayer. Also, some water. You can spritz it on with a spray bottle like I do or just have water available and a magic eraser for those stubborn spots at the end. But, you know, if you've used one of these before, don't rub too hard because it'll take everything off. And paper towel. So what I've done is I've cut the image out. Here she is. And remember when you transfer this, it will be backwards. So I take my palette knife and take some of this medium I'm going to spread it everywhere and give yourself a good coating because it really dries pretty fast and you need enough, enough on there. If you miss spots, obviously that won't transfer. Okay. Put your image down and now you're going to take your palette knife and start pushing out all the glue and all the air bubbles. Because if you don't get the air bubbles out, that area won't transfer properly also. And you can just take all the excess here and put it back in your container so you're not wasting anything. Okay, take that brayer and get the rest of those air bubbles out. Now, I would let that dry for at least an hour, but, you know, I, I really do like to let it dry overnight just to make sure it's well adhered. And through the magic of video, I have one that's already dry, so we can see what this is going to look like. Take your water bottle or your water and spritz it on your image. It'll start to come through a little bit. I, I can already see it here. Move that water around. You're going to use your fingers to rub this. And you know, the first time I did it, I had little blisters on my fingers afterwards from all the rubbing, so you can also use a little bit of a wet paper towel. All right, let's go. Just rub all the areas, and that layer of pulp that we don't want will start coming off. Okay, you can use this little wet paper towel too to help things along. It just pulls it off a little easier. And the parts that are still dry, just add a little more water. And it's a little work. And uh, I'll just show you the magic eraser. I put a little water on that too. And it'll just get those stubborn spots off really easily. 
All right, we have a successful transfer. There's only a few places that didn't come through, but I think that's pretty cool um, when the image actually does that. And uh, you can paint around it, paint over it. It doesn't matter what you do, but have fun.